My guest Steve here, and this video I'm going to show how to tame an Amargasaur solo. Now this creature is not easy to tame by yourself, and it took days of testing to find out how to do it the legit way. So please like and subscribe as 70% of you aren't. And for those that have, thank you very much. Right, you'll find them scattered all around the snow area. So you'll need some fur armor to keep you warm. Let's go over mechanics. You'll need to adjust your body temperature to that of a creature. You can either use Kalyan soup or eat fryer curry. You'll need to make and carry quite a few sweet veggie cakes, as that's the food you'll give it to make it heal up. Then you'll give it exceptional kibble to increase its taming bar. I would definitely take some health brews because you'll be taking quite a lot of damage. Then a weapon to kill all the creatures attacking you. I recommend one or two shotguns. When you find an Amargasaur, don't get too close to it, or it will start attacking you. I've already eaten a soup, so that's why I can get this close to it. If I hadn't, it'd attack me further away. When a soup or curry buff is about to run out, you can eat an alternative one you've not used. That way they'll overlap and you won't run out. But it's not essential to have both. After you've had a soup or curry, wait for about 15 seconds, and then go towards the creature. You need to wait for about that long for your temperature to change, otherwise it'll attack you straight away. I just had a curry because my soup's about to run out. Go up to it and press E to sync temperatures with tame, then it'll try and hump your face. You'll see the taming bar and it now wants to be your friend. And the text is changed, hunt with your marga to increase the taming. Once that happens it'll keep following you, and now you need to go around killing naturally aggressive creatures. Herbivores and creatures that naturally wouldn't attack you unless you attack them don't count. So if I shot these mammoths to get them to attack me, it wouldn't count either. Now, there are two ways to get your taming bar up. Help that a mammoth gas kill hostile creatures near it. You can do all the killing if you want, as long as your tame's next to you. And also, if you do enough damage to creatures, your tame will ask to be fed kibble. Both ways get your taming bar up. Now the Amamagas is more of a medium range area of control creature where it fires three different spikes into the ground. Armor breaking, free spikes and heat spikes. So it's not great at fighting or defending if creatures are attacking it directly. And if it gets below 85% health, you start losing taming effectiveness. Then you've got to give it sweet veggie cakes after the fight to get its health back up. So you've got to try and stop it taking any damage if you can. If any hostile creatures are near, it will roar and then run off to fight them. Try to kill the attacking creatures, but as you saw the ammo gas lowered its head at the wrong time and I shot it in the neck. This will make it very angry, and it won't want to be your friend anymore. In fact it will try and stomp your ass into the ground. As you can see the taming bar has gone, it runs faster than you so you can't outrun it, and unless you've got a mount nearby it will probably kill you, but I'll go on to why you don't want to use mounts later on. If this happens during any time of your taming, it will completely ruin your tame. And it's especially annoying when you're around 70 to 90 percent done. You're gonna have to get really far away from it to break the aggro or die, then come back and start the taming all over again. The bigger and higher level the hostile creature is, the more growth you get to your taming bar. Try and kill all the creatures before your tame gets to them. Then when they're mixed together, try and just clip the hostile creatures. I'm aiming for its tail. but I still managed to slightly shoot my tame, but I didn't do enough damage for it to get angry at me. It's asking to be fed sweet veggie cakes to heal, so I feed it one of them. Another hostile wolf incoming. Your tame's blue spikes create a frost aura around it, but slowly freezes everything. The orange spikes create a fire aura, and the pink spikes do armor breaking. Rexes are one of the best creatures to kill for it. Time your shots perfectly, because you don't want to hit your own tame. I've been killing quite a few creatures and it's given me that much in a taming bar. Then when I hit this UT, you get a message come up saying, your Mara gas is hungry and feed it. Just kill this, because you can't do anything with it while the tame's fighting. Oh, 150, that's quite good. Okay, where's it gone? Come over here, get out of that hole. There you go, good boy. It just loves running around, getting itself into trouble. All right, I've got exceptional kibble on zero hot bar, go up to it and feed it, and your taming bowl go up even more. Right, that's the basics. 
I'm sticking this in as you have to learn like I did. I got this one to about 75% and then a small group of creatures attacked. And that accidentally shot it. It goes after me, I completely ruined the tame. Try to run away, but it's faster. It killed me. I come back to it, forgot to eat the Korean soup. It sees me. Goes, I'm gonna kill you again. I eat my soup, but it's too late. It's because it takes about 10 seconds to work. It's still attacking me. And then finally my temperature matches his and I can go up to him and sync with him and we can start the taming process all over again. I did that to show you the aggro range without the suit buff and how long it takes the suit to take effect. You cannot click on or interact with your Margus when it's in combat. If you found one you want to tame you need to kill the creature it's fighting before you can click and sync with it. Another thing to remember is your tame will follow you but only until it finds something it wants to fight. I'm going around looking for something to kill for it. See, see something up there. Grab its aggro. I get a message saying my ammo gas has gone out of range and it's losing taming efficiency. So you must remember to make sure you keep it close. Wondering where the hell it's gone. It's been attacked by wolves What is aggroed. So I try and kill these. It's took a huge amount of damage and a creature I pulled ends up killing it. So remember when you're walking around looking for creatures to kill, always look back every few seconds to make sure it's still following you. If you start to tame one, then damage or kill a wild one, your tame won't like it and will attack you. The taming bar will go and it will cancel the taming. And that's the same if you have a group of them. Here I've accidentally shot one of them. They will fight the wild creature first. And when that's done, they'll all turn on you. Because the Amora gas was fairly weak by itself, I thought about sinking with everyone I found in the area, grouping them all up and have strength in numbers. You don't have to give them all kibble, as you don't want to tame all of them, just the highest level one you started with, and you don't even have to give them sweet cakes to heal them up, you just let the others die and get new ones on the way. The cakes weigh a ton so you can't carry that many anyway. The pluses for grouping them all up is that they do a lot more damage together. All of them fire spikes in the ground, so you get a lot more freezing, armor breaking, and flame damage. And the likelihood of your tame being damaged is reduced because there's more targets for the hostile Carnos to attack. A large group of Amara gas can easily kill single or small group targets. However, large groups of bigger creatures is still a problem. You have all the ammo gas running around, so you have no idea which is your tame you want to keep safe. You could get unlucky and have all the hostile creatures attacking your main tame. All of them are shooting spikes everywhere, so it's an AoE death trap for you. You can't move around easily, as you're blocked by the ammo gas or their spike effects on the ground. It's extremely risky to shoot the hostile creatures, as the Amagas are likely to run in front of you and get shot, which would completely screw up your tame. And while you're in the group, the Amagas you want to tame could run off to a different hostile creature, go out of range and start losing taming effectiveness. So when you have a large Amagas group fighting a large hostile Kano group, it's complete chaos and really hard to track the creature you want to keep safe. It's possible you could get the group method to work if you stick to fighting small groups or solo Carnos. But there's going to be times when they go off in all different directions or you'll stumble across a big group, then everything will get completely chaotic and you might lose your main tame. And using your shotgun at all is extremely risky as one wrong hit and all the taming progress will be gone. And as you can see in all that chaos, my main tame got wrecked. So I'm going to have to feed it sweet veggie cakes and wait ages for its health to go back up. Because using your shotgun is hugely risky in a group of ammo gas, I thought of different ways to not use my weapon and instead try to tank all the creatures and let the ammo gas group do all the damage. Like if I can tank all the creatures attacking inside the frostbite aura, it will gradually freeze them. 
until they become frozen solid and stop attacking. As you can see it has the same effect on you, but I thought if my shield's up at the time, then I'll be protected and I won't have to move. But that plan purely relies on the ammo gas, putting down enough frost spikes to freeze their incoming attackers. And as you can see here, they didn't put down any, so it's completely unreliable. I had to resort to the shotgun, and I shot my ammo gas by mistake again. One of the lower ones gets killed. They put down no spikes. <laughs> Typical. I put my shield up, it's still putting no spikes down. So I can't hold him in the freezing area. So as you can see, it's not going to work. So I thought if they aren't going to freeze the creatures, I'll get on an owl and freeze them for it. If I can get all the creatures into one group, then I can freeze them all in one go. And let the Amagas attack them while it's frozen. Plus the owl might be able to heal up the Amagas. But as you can see, the Amagas don't like owls. <laughs> Even though I've tamed it, in the wild the owls are classed as a hostile carno, so something that Amagas will want to attack. So if you took an owl to tame Amagas, you got to park it miles away. Then go to your creature you want to tame. That's good enough level. Go up and sink with it. Now make your way all the way back to the snow owl. And remember, because there's a lot of ammo gas all around this area, you'll have to do this every single time. Otherwise, as soon as you get in aggro range, you'll keep attacking your snow owl. You can freeze one or two creatures grouped together, but it also freezes your tame. Well, if it's just one or two creatures, you may as well use your shotgun to kill them straight away. But when there's a large group spread out, you don't have much chance of freezing them all. I tried to kite them all together into a smaller group, freezing them. Some froze, some didn't. The teams are getting attacked anyway. When I'm getting attacked, it's breaking my freeze. I can't keep them frozen forever, so I'll keep attacking my tames. They're taking a huge amount of damage, and they all die. So yeah, I wouldn't take the owl or try this. The ammo gas are found in the snow area. And you might be able to go around for a while killing solo or small groups of creatures. But you will come up to a huge group of wolves or a large group of Utes and Carnos. And because you're by yourself, you won't be able to defend your tame and it'll get killed. Time after time after time after time. And this is the biggest problem you face when taming. So, after many days of testing, let me show you how to tame an Amagas for real. Let's go for it all in one go. Like I say, it can be found in a snow area. And there's one. I've already taken my soup. Go up to it and sink your temperature. Press E. Tries to hump your face again. There we go, it's going to be your friend. Now it's in the snow area. Probably the most dangerous place for it, with large packs of wolves, uties and carnos running around, which will eventually eat it. So what we're going to do is take it out of the snow area. If it's almost impossible to tame it in the snow area, take it somewhere safer. And that's the most important trick to tame it solo. As well as two shotguns, I suggest taking a long neck rifle with a scope. Because the ammo gas has got a huge aggro range, if you try and get close to a hostile creature, but I'm a guess will just get aggro and run to it. And that could lead you into a big group of hostile creatures that will kill it. So with a long neck, you can pull a hostile creature from a long way away to you in your safe area, instead of blindly running off into a possible hostile area. There's a lovely Rex to start with. Oh, need to reload. There we go, it's fine. Right, I need to feed it kibble. You notice when I was shooting a Rex, because it's a big creature, blue text came up saying I can feed it kibble to give it extra taming. So I'm going to put exceptional kibble on the zero of my hotbar, feed it my tame, and we're off to a really good start. 
Right, it's damaged. So now switch your kibble for sweet veggie cakes. Feed it them to heal it up. And we can continue down the mountain away from a snow area. There are hardly any rexes in a snow area. The biggest thing you'll find there is a UT. What's that? Oh, and we've got another one. I want to lead my tame to a nice open area with lots of visibility so I can see any hostiles coming. So I'll be going down to the plains mounting area as there's lots of rexes on the mountain. Finding two in a row is lucky. Oh, it was a bit risky, I nearly shot my tame then. I can feed it more kibble in the top middle. And I get loads of taming points for killing this Rex. What the hell is 150? Alright. Alright, swap the kibble around. You've got to keep swapping these, it's a pain. Give it a kibble and swap for sweet cakes. Give it sweet cakes to heal it up. And we're going to carry on down the mountain. I think I'm going to follow the river. Just check its health. This taming bar is going really good. So let's continue. It's going to take a really long time to tame. So I'm going to skip forward until something interesting happens or we get some action. Right, there is an Alpha Rex in the trees. But there's no way I'm fighting that. It will absolutely wreck my tame. But I will do a separate video on it to try and get a way to tame one of these by using an alpha creature. But today is not that day. Right, I need to get down here. Let's try and find a safe way down. I think down to the right will do. Take small jumps. I would take a lot of healing brews because you'll be the main tank for your creature and you will take damage. You coming down? Good boy. Right, I chose going down this way to the grassy plains because it's nice and open. I can see the enemy creatures. I can see the, I can see the hostile creatures go to them. I can pull them from a distance with my long neck and I shouldn't have anything sneaking up on me so I can plan my safest route. The other sides I could have taken my tame down from a snow area from is a redwood area but that's got large groups of baboons and they're probably more dangerous than the groups of wolves you're trying to get away from and then I could also come down to the jungle swamp area but there's loads of trees everywhere, so you can't see the safest way to go. And there'll be loads of hostile creatures hiding in the trees that could jump out and kill you or the tame. So I thought the best option is this nice open area. There's not so many creatures to kill as the other places, but it's a lot safer and that's the main thing. Keep your tame alive. I want to keep skipping forward on exciting bits so you can see what kind of creatures are down here. Right, what's it found? A big lizard. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Right, shoot it when your tame's head is up in the air. After days of practice, I'm an expert on shooting now. And yes, I saw the Alpha Rex in the distance. Again, stay the hell away from that. Yeah, it'd give you a huge taming boost, but your tame will be dead, so there's not much point. Wish I'd come up with a way of doing it though. Stay tuned and subscribe. Right, we've got a Carno. Should be fairly easy. Shoot it in the ass. Where are you going? Is it going to find something else? See? It's got a mind of its own. Just wanders round. Out of care in the world. Alright, it's finally come back. Oh, it's found a lizard. Couldn't see it in the shadows. Right, come on, get away from that alpha. You come in? There we go, on to the next one. We have some raptors. 
Oop, nearly shot it in the head then. Wait for it to attack and its head to go up. So it's safe to shoot it. Oh, shot it in its nads by accident. Sorry about that. It wasn't a full blast. I just clipped it so it didn't cancel my tame and attack me. Luckily. You can only get away with a few of those. Another group of raptors. Very easily killed. Oh, it's done a fire spike this time. Toaster. Even though there's not many dinosaurs in this grassland area, and they're spread out quite a lot, you can go quite long periods of time without having to kill a creature. There's no time limit on taming an Amagas. Like you've got to tame it within 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, two hours or anything. So you can take your time. It's the most important thing is to keep your tame safe. Just give it enough experience to feed it kibble. It is a pain switching between the cakes and kibble over time. Right, you know the mechanics now. So I'm going to skip forward to show you all the creatures I find here. We have some saber tooths. Another Rex. There's another Rex on the mountain. So shoot it with your long neck and try and get its aggro so it comes down. I'll make my way up there as well. It was chasing something so it wouldn't come down. Come here. Getting up the mountains was a bit tricky. Out, you don't shoot your tame. Oh, 108. I can feed it some more kibble. Some arges. Grab their attention. Where's he going? Stop running around in circles. Oh, raptors are joined as well. Oh, another one. Last one. There we go. And we can feed it another kibble. Right, I skipped forward about 20 minutes, I killed more Arges, Sabertooths, Raptors, Rexes, and if you leave bodies on the floor, lots of Hyenas spawn. It's been about 6 minutes since I last killed something. It's found something. Oh, it's a Dimorph. It might be small, but it adds to its kill count, and it refreshes the timer to stop the taming effectiveness going down. So I've got about another 10 minutes before I have to find something else. I'm going up to that mountain because there's usually lots of Rexes on them. So see you in a second. Right, I found a group of two high level Rexes. I'm almost maxed out the Taming Bar. Just need to kill a few more things. It took a while to tame this but I wasn't in a rush. There we go. Finally tamed it. I got myself a spiky neck. It started off at a level 100 and came out a 149. 100% taming effectiveness. Right, I've got a saddle on it. Let's see what it can do. If you press the left mouse button, it doesn't attack and you can actually harvest stuff. Right mouse button and fire shoots your bolts. Pink ones are armor breaking. Press C to change your spikes. Orange ones are fire. They'll burn anything in its radius. Press C again and the blue ones are frost. 
If a creature or person stays in there long enough, it will freeze. Let's make pretty patterns on the ground. <laughs> like I said, it's good for aerial denial. Because you don't really want to walk through all that. Well, creatures and your enemies don't want to walk through it. But you're now immune to it. You can even demolish those if you want. Stay inside and you'll be nice and safe. I can see shooting these at base doorways would be useful. If you press shift, they are very fast at running. Good to get around. Let's put the points in. wonder how fast this thing can move. Another Rex over there. Let's lay a napalm carpet down. Heat up its tutsis. There's another Rex in the background as well. It's a good place for them to spawn. Oh, let's see if we can hit it. There's only short range on the spikes. It needs to stay in the firing to catch on fire. There we go. It was in long enough. Now it's pushing me back. And I'm not having chance to put my spikes down because it cancels it on attack. So it's more of a short mid-range attacker than a close-in one like a Rex. Doing a next swing. Does okay damage. There's a 135 Rex. A cryo its body. Well, there's another Rex behind us. There's three Rexes here. And then another two I killed previously. It's walking through the cold and slowing down. Let's see if I can kite it in there. Because the longer it stays in the cold, the colder it'll get, and then it'll freeze solid and can't attack. Great, we've got a Carno helping as well. Yeah, it's frosting up. There you go, the Rex is completely frozen solid. Amazing. It only can stay frozen for a short time. Then it'll get an antifreeze buff. These spikes last a long time. I'll try and heat it up. Burn its ass. Burn it. This video took half a week to make, because there was a hell of a lot of testing. But now you know how to tame an Amagasaurus solo. Please show me it was worth it by liking, subscribing, if you've not already. Click the bell notifications on all, so you get notified when I upload videos next. And share it with your friends. I've got some special theories on how to tame these. And if they work, it's going to be epic. So please subscribe for that as well. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching. Now that you've clicked over buttons and become a new blit, I'll hopefully see you again. Goodbye.